Okay, this is going to be number two from the 2022 Calc BC exam, and it's a uh, vector slash parametric equations problem, and it's pretty straightforward, so let's see. Particle moving along a curve in the xy plane is at the position x of t, y of t at t greater than zero. The particle moves in such a way that dx dt is the square root of 1 plus t squared, and dy dt is the natural log of 2 plus t squared. So already I'm grabbing my calculator and I'm defining those functions so that I can use them. At time t equals 4, the particle is at the point 1, 5. So this t equals 4 thing is going to be really important. Um, it's not t equals 0. It's not t equals 1. We're starting at t equals 4, and we know we're at the position 1, 5. All right. Find the slope of the line tangent to the path of the particle at time t equals 4. So we know that dy dx is going to be equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. And then we're going to evaluate that at t equals 4. This is a calculator question, so we're going to let the calculator do the work. Here's a screenshot. I defined dx of t, I defined dy of t, and then I'm just doing dy of 4 over dx of 4. So the exact value is natural log of 18 over 17. I prefer to always use decimals on these things, so I'm going to say approximately 0 0.701 and move on. Next part. Find the speed of the particle at time t equals 4, and find the acceleration vector of the particle at time t equals 4. So we're doing two parts here. They almost always put these two things together. I'm not really sure why. I guess they think people confuse them or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, speed. So speed is going to be, I mean, it's the magnitude of velocity, if that's how you think about it. I'm going to write it as the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared, and then we're going to evaluate this at t equals 4. I'm going to use the calculator, but I'm going to do one screenshot, so I'm going to answer, I'm going to write the work for the acceleration vector first. So acceleration vector is going to be, so at 4, we're going to do uh, the second derivative of x with respect to t, comma, the second derivative of y with respect to t, and then so I don't know, like on, on particle motion, you're supposed to connect velocity to acceleration, um, acceleration and velocity to position. Uh, here, I think we did that, right? I think we've said that it's going to be the second derivative, comma, the second derivative. I think this is fine. We'll find out in the future if it's not, and I'll put a comment if it's not. So at t equals 4, here is my screenshot because I've already defined dx of t and dy of t in the previous part. Uh, I just need to... Find the square root of dx of 4 squared plus dy of 4 squared, and I get 5.035. And then I found the derivative of dx at 4, the derivative of dy at 4, and I'm going to write that in vector form. So 0 0.970. I always go three decimals no matter what. Um, and then 0.444. All right. Next part. Find the y-coordinate of the particle's position at time t equals 6. So now it's going to be really important that we're starting at t equals 4. So if I want to find y of 6, what I need to do is I need to know where I'm starting, right? I'm starting at y of 4, and then I'm going to add the displacement of y, which is the integral from 4 to 6, of y prime of t dt. So it's where we're starting plus the displacement. Definitely my favorite way to use the fundamental theorem. So... I decided to write another step here. I don't know that this is necessary. I mean, it's calculator. You could probably just go, except y of 4 is not, like, clearly defined, so maybe it is better to do this, like, 5 plus. I'm sure you'd get the points either way. Calculator, uh, I used the calculator on this. I forgot to put in the screenshot. I just did literally 5 plus the integral from 4 to 6 of dy of t, and the calculator gives me 11.571. And uh, finally... Find the total distance the particle travels along the curve from time t equals 4 to t equals 6. All right, so distance traveled is the integral of velocity, velocity, uh, sorry, no, it is not. Distance traveled is the integral of speed. Speed is the magnitude of velocity. So we're going to be doing the integral from 4 to 6, because that's our time frame, square root of, because we're finding the magnitude of velocity here. It's going to be dx dt squared plus dy dt squared. And then I'm going to close up this square root sign. And I'm going to put a dt. Then I grab my calculator. I do the integral from 4 to 6 of that. And I get approximately 
12.136. And that's the entire problem. It's very straightforward. Um, I hope this was helpful and good luck.